Hello guys, welcome to my channel Noodle. So what we are going to doing is basically we are going to take a screenshot of a view and then uh, simply save it as an image to our gallery. Okay, basically to a user's gallery. We have a text view and the image is two things actually in a material card view. So what we are going to implement is basically taking the screenshot of that card view and then save it as an image. Okay, after user clicks on that uh, button, that is view capture. Okay, so simply sub first of all, we are going to implement basically these two permissions. So I'm going to write access to these permissions actually. Uh, simply, I need to call an activity compact dot request permissions and then provide the context and then add a of the manifest dot permission dot you can write external storage and then request code that is one. Simply copy this and I think write external storage replace with a real external storage yeah simple now what we are going to do is basically first uh, we need that basically card view which i mentioned in the activity main xml so i'm going to create uh, the view initialize the view actually by so find view by id here i'm gonna put card view as the type and uh, the id is basically r dot id dot uh, card view i guess yeah now now we have to implement like what happened when the user clicks on that particular button which is bt intent dot set on click listener simply we are going to get the that bitmap of that particular view so i'm going to create a variable named bitmap equals to get green is image of view basically get image of view and in that pass that particular view and uh, we need to implement this function i'm going to check if our bitmap variable basically if our uh, bitmap is not equals to null then simply save this media to the storage save to storage call this function by passing the bitmap as a parameter okay in the parameter basically and also create the function of this also and uh, now just we have to implement these two functions and that's it so first i'm going to implement this get image of view how we can get the image of that particular view simple greater the val image type bitmap equals to null create that variable and uh, now simple now uh, i'm gonna inflate that screenshot object with bitmap or create bitmap and uh, then which is requires only three parameters with height and the background color of the view okay okay now simply we are going to put the try block and inside that try block i'm gonna take that uh, image variable as an uh, so that we can put our created bitmap to the particular variable and then we are simply pass that variable return that variable in that function okay now we have view dot uh, measure width then view dot measure height okay and then simply bitmap dot config dot now you can take any color bitmap config uh whatever i'm going to select this one and then simply I'm going to draw this bitmap on a canvas. Well, canvas, canvas equals to canvas. And here I'm going to call this image. And now you can see actually uh, we have a view as in like uh, maybe it can be null basically, but it, it doesn't. It is not going to be null actually. Why? Because we are inflating that uh, view from our XML, so it is not going to be null at any instance of the point. Now we are going to view the draw that canvas. That's simple. Now, yeah, that's simple. Just put a cache block here. Uh, e and an exception. And then we have, I'm going to put the log as a error basically. So log dot e. So, cosmic me developer. And here fail cannot capture basically cannot capture okay now simply return that uh, image we transform from here now you can see image uh, it is showing as any required but uh, we found a bitmap which is null okay 
And so okay, so what we are going to do is basically I'm gonna change the return type with the bitmap. Okay, now it is simple. Now how to save that particular uh, screenshot or image to the media? So for that uh, we need the bitmap. Okay, now how to change this actually bitmap type. And uh, for saving, we need a file name. So image name basically. So for that, I'm gonna put uh, system dot current time millis as the okay dot jpg, and also I'm gonna put new underscore. Okay. Uh, okay. Wait. Let's go. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah. Now, now it's done actually. That's my image name. That's going to be my image name. Now I am going to initialize the basically declaring the output stream variable, which is output stream. That can be null. So initialize it with null. So now we have we have two type of devices. The devices which are going which are, which are running on the Android uh, greater than or equals to Android Q or basically the lesser than. Okay, so I'm gonna create a function in which first I'm gonna put build dot version uh, dot sdk. Let's put the import this and then windows dot version sdk int. If it is greater than or equals to build dot version quotes dot q, then implement inside that. Okay, so first I'm going to getting the content resolver and uh, then I'm gonna put this as a uh, simple, I guess. Uh, okay, get the content values here by content values dot apply. What we are going to apply is basically just put the media. To, okay. Now media store dot media columns dot display name. Oh, sorry, display name. And here I'm going to put my name, which is image name. Okay. Now just put uh, again with the key as media store dot media column. Uh, And here I'm gonna put the um, mime type, which is basically our image slash jpg. Okay. Now again put something which is uh, like a relative path, and uh, that is basically environment dot directory pictures. Okay. Environment dot directory. Uh, we have directory like that also. In, uh, there are so many. So I'm gonna check uh, where the pictures, pictures, pictures. pictures. Okay. So here what we are trying to do is basically putting the file information in the contained values. Here uh, we put the display name as image name and the pipe type is as, as an image uh, slash jpg and then the relative part which is directory pictures. Okay. Now inserting the content values to content resolver and getting the URL or URI which is the path of that particular. Uh, so let's create an image URI variable of type URI and then simply equals to the resolver which will be create. Uh, with URI imported and then we have it dot insert okay now insert what I got to insert basically media store uh, media store dot images dot media dot external content URI and then we have our content value so put that content values as is it as it is and then we have output stream also so image uri dot let uh, it we have, here we have something i guess mm, let's make this variable something uh, resolver and use this here so that we can use here also resolver dot open output stream and here we can put our URI. okay now 
uh, it can be null actually but uh, i'm gonna put this here also so that it will need to null check and uh, now simply this is for basically the android devices which is uh, greater than uh, android q now if uh, some device is lesser than that so what to do is basically um, simply you need to do is images uh, directory which is equals to environmental dot get external storage directory or simply you can say external storage public directory and here i'm going to put the basically uh, type which is environment dot pictures okay now simple we are going to put the image equals to file and then images directory comma file name uh image name sorry image name and then simply as well as that is output stream so file output is stream and then we have Uh, image so image not image name so put this as file and then this now uh, we have output stream so for that use uh, finally we are writing the bitmap to the output stream that we open and uh, for that actually you use you need to just bitmap dot compress and uh, bitmap dot compress format dot jpeg and then we select the quality which is i think 100 percent then pass the output stream that is it and yeah that's it now just put that post like uh success i'm going to post success fully captured the link captures the okay now, now it is simple actually uh for that we need to put the two start length long and then show it okay so this is it i guess uh wait i need to look so yeah that's it so this is how we can uh now you can also see in the video with this uh audio with my audio actually uh in side by side so here this is how we can basically create a uh, image of a particular view using this and here you can also uh, see how we can store the image to the our gallery if our android device is uh, greater than android q version okay so for that you need to use this or if it is well then uh, you can always use this type of uh, function or methods uh, to create and this is the type of method which uh, is used to basically uh, if i say that to if i create uh, like the if i uh, decrease the quality of the image here uh, we can uh, save the we can reduce the size of the image basically so okay so if you want to compress the image so you can always try that also and changing the format also here so yeah that's it uh, so that's it from this video actually if you like this video click like button if you have any question or something like that comment it below and if you found this video helpful then please like and subscribe. if you found the videos of my channel helpful then do subscribe and uh, press the bell icon so that you do that you will not miss any upcoming video uh, which i'm going to upload in the future so yeah that's it from my set see you in the next one bye, -bye.